In today's world of Keyforge, artifact control is a must-have. If you don't have it in your deck, then you're susceptible to artifacts such as Quixelstone or Heart of the Forest, or you may be put on your back foot by artifacts that just give your opponent a distinct advantage, such as Autoencoder or Dark Ember Vault. Artifact control can come in a number of forms. Gorm of Om and Hawk simply destroy artifacts, while cards like Poltergeist allow you to use it first, then remove it. But some of the best artifact control isn't necessarily when you get to destroy the artifact, but when you get to take it for yourself. That's what this Versus episode is all about, pitting two cards that steal enemy artifacts against each other. Snecklifter from Coda, AOA, and Worlds Collide, and Borrow from Mass Mutation and Dark Tidings. This should be a good match, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's start out by taking a look at Snecklifter, a rare 2 power shadows creature that showed up in Keyforge's first 3 sets. It has a play effect that reads, take control of an enemy artifact. While under your control, if it does not belong to one of your 3 houses, it is considered to be of house shadows. It's nice that part of its effect puts the stolen artifact into house shadows if it doesn't already match one of the 3 houses on your identity card, so you don't just end up with a single card in a house that's not even in your deck. It's 2 power, meaning it's not very difficult to remove from the board once it's been played, but that's fine since it's the play effect that really matters. And it's also a rare, meaning you won't be seeing it often at all. You could open tons of decks and never encounter him. In the opposite corner of the ring, we have the Shadows action card Borrow, which appeared in Mass Mutation and Dark Tidings. This card is uncommon, you get an Ember Pip when you play it, and it reads, take control of an enemy artifact, while under your control it belongs to House Shadows instead of its original house. So Borrow offers no versatility in terms of which house the stolen artifact may belong to. No matter what, it gets changed to Shadows, where with Snecklifter, if it already belonged to a house on your identity card, it stays in that house. Now, how do we compare the two? Let's start off with card's rarity, with Snecklifter at rare and Borrow at uncommon. You'll see Borrow more frequently than Snecklifter, possibly even in multiples, meaning more of a chance for that delicious artifact theft. You could of course see Snecklifter in multiples, but again, being a rare, that's very unlikely. You also get an Ember Pit for playing Borrow, a perk that does not come with Snecklifter. Even if the opponent doesn't have any artifacts in play for you to steal, you at least still get an Ember Pit for playing the card. In Snecklifter's case for that scenario, his play effect is just dead. But what cards act as good support for our two contenders, offering recursion, combo potential, or consistent playability? I feel that Age of Ascension was one of Snecklifter's strongest sets, with cards like Exhum at common to play it straight from your discard pile, or all the archiving and logos to store it away for later use. In Worlds Collide, creatures like Science Officer Morpheus and artifacts like Transporter Platform could trigger his play effect twice, allowing you to steal two artifacts at once. In both AOA and WC, cards like Hysteria could return them to your hand, and AOA had plenty of recursion cards like Glimmer, Gravid Cycle, Nature's Call, while Call of the Archons had Witch of the Eye and Nepenthe Seed. What did Borrow have in these categories? There isn't a ton of action card retrieval in Mass Mutation, besides cards like Look What I Found and Orb of Wonder, so you just have to hope to reshuffle into it eventually. Dark Tidings has Think Twice and Forgive or Forget as a couple options to get Borrow back, so there is some recursion there. But ultimately, I think Borrow lacks the recursion options Snecklifter has, due simply to the sets it appears in. Let's line up each artifact's pros and cons to determine a winner. Snecklifter is a rare, whereas Borrow is uncommon, meaning you'll see Borrow more often. Snecklifter doesn't give a bonus Ember Pip, where Borrow does. This means sometimes Snecklifter will have a dead play effect, but is still a body on the board that can reap. Borrow is a guaranteed bonus Ember, then hits the discard pile. Snecklifter only puts the stolen artifact into shadows if it doesn't match a house on your identity card, meaning if it does match, the stolen artifact may be able to synergize with your deck better. Borrow always puts the artifact into shadows no matter what. Honestly, it's a really close match, and I'm having a hard time choosing a winner. It always feels great to use something like the opponent's life word against them, or take advantage of something that would have been beneficial to them, like a library card. But for the majority of the time, the stolen artifact won't have such a powerful effect, or the effect is symmetrical, or the opponent will just discard the artifact entirely to keep you from stealing it. In a vacuum, they're both nearly identical, but in an actual deck, I feel like Snecklifter just has so much more combo potential, offering the stolen artifact more potential synergy if you have the matching houses, and has plenty of ways to be recurred. It's an extremely tight match, but I think I've gotta give the victory to Snecklifter, though not by much. Despite appearing less often and lacking the Ember Pip, Snecklifter just offers more in terms of overall versatility, both in what it does with the stolen artifact and its combo potential with other cards in your deck. And if it survives a few turns on the board, it may be able to reap a couple times, making up for the Ember Pip it lacks compared to Borrow. Both cards can create some cool new synergies with shadows depending on which artifact you steal, but I believe Snecklifter just does it better. But what do you guys think? Do you think Borrow should have taken the W on this one? What points may I have missed? 
Let me know down in the comments below. But for now, Snecklifter is our winner for this episode of Versus. Again, it was a super close match, and I'm sure there are many scenarios and situations where Baro could be better than Snecklifter, so this is by no means the definitive, irrefutable conclusion to this match. This is the game of Keyforge after all. Thank you all so much for watching, be sure to tune in to the rest of Keyforge Christmas, and I can't wait to see you all again in the next one. See you later.